The femoral nerve block is used for many different surgeries. The femoral nerve block can be used for knee surgery, hip surgery, femur surgery, or even medial ankle surgery to get the saphenous nerve. To perform the femoral nerve block, there's a few key positioning tips. We want to put the patient completely supine. Many of our patients are larger and have larger abdomens, so putting the patient supine allows us to get high enough in the femoral region. Also, if their adipose tissue hangs over the femoral region, we want to put tape here and tape their abdomen away, out of the way, so you can put your probe comfortably in the femoral region. To do an ultrasound-guided femoral nerve block, we use a linear high-frequency probe. To start the femoral nerve block, we usually put the probe right in the femoral crease. On our screen now, we see several important features. From medial to lateral, we see the iliacus muscle. We see the nerve sitting right on the iliacus muscle. And we also see the femoral artery. And then to the right, we see the femoral vein. There are a few fascia coverings in this area that are important. The fascia iliaca runs above the femoral nerve and below the artery. The fascia lata runs above all of this, above the artery and vein as well. Now for the femoral nerve, we want to see a hyperechoic or bright nerve sitting on the iliacus muscle. The true femoral nerve is a wide, flat nerve laying directly on the muscle. If you inject above the fascia iliaca, this will create a barrier to your nerve and allow a block that is not complete. So as we move up and down the leg, we're going to see some keys that will help you find the femoral nerve in all patients. More medial, you see the pulsating femoral artery, and medial to that, you see the femoral vein. Here the vein collapses with pressure. Now, some keys to find the femoral nerve in every patient are as follows. If the probe is placed too cranially, your femoral artery and vein and nerve drop deep on the screen. The femoral vein, artery, and nerve are too deep, then you need to move the probe caudally. If your probe is placed too distally, that femoral artery is going to split into two femoral arteries here you can see a pulsating profunda femoral deep as well as a true femoral artery superficial. Now I'm going to put some color flow on that. And you can see a pulsating artery deeper and a superficial femoral artery as well. Now the vein is on the left represented in red in this picture. As we move cranially, those two arteries come together. When we look laterally from there, the nerve has also come together from many branches forming one femoral nerve. And this way we can see the femoral nerve the best when the artery also comes together as well. Now our needle approach to the femoral nerve is going to be from lateral to medial. Typically we use a 10 centimeter needle because we use these in-plane approaches to the femoral nerve. I like to put my target on the further side of the screen so I can see my needle coming in from the lateral side. So I'll, I'll put my first injection lateral to the nerve just above the iliacus muscle to ensure injection below the fascia iliaca but not within the iliacus muscle. By using typical volumes such as 20 to 30 milliliters will get spread above the nerve or below the nerve without poking into the nerve and damaging the nerve. In this femoral nerve block, you can see a single injection needle being advanced lateral to the nerve, which is lying right on the iliacus muscle. You can see the pulsating femoral artery medially and the local anesthetic now spreading over the wide, flat femoral nerve. Our needle tracks in with the local anesthetic so we can get local anesthetic spreading all the way medial around the femoral nerve here.